This book is all about television technology. It was written in 1954 by Kirchhoff and Werner. They were um, leaders in the television development laboratory from Philips. And I now made one of the circuits in this book. This is a bi-stable multi-vibrator. It's made with tubes. But I translated this circuit into a transistor circuit. You can see it. And the key um, issue in this circuit is that we change this resistor, it goes from the base to the plus, and this resistor also from the base to the plus, and that has a very big effect um, on the frequency. The frequency is also influenced by this capacitor, 100 nanofarad, and this capacitor, but we add a voltage here and there and this voltage changes when we turn this potentiometer here and that is this potentiometer in the tube circuit this potentiometer adds a changing voltage to the tube grids and that means uh, a frequency variation in the circuit and this potentiometer here adds a changing voltage to the base from these transistors. And that also means a, f a frequency change. I made a circuit here in real. Perhaps it's a little bit messy, but this is the, this potentiometer here, is this potentiometer here, and is this potentiometer here. So I'm going to demonstrate it now. This is the oscilloscope view from the frequency that's generated at this moment. This frequency, it is 38 Hertz. And that means that we have to make this capacitor and this capacitor very low. Now I remove the wire to the big capacitor and the frequency goes up. It's now 303 uh, Hertz. And because the capacitors are not equivalent, there's also a not equivalent signal. The one period is long and one period is very short. Now I remove this wire, and now the periods are more or less equal, and I change the voltage on the base, the two base, from the transistors, and you can see that the frequency changes. It goes up now to 7.8 kilohertz and it's possible to reach a more higher frequency uh, the highest capacitor here and here is 10 nanofarad I'm going to change um, this capacitor this uh, potentiometer now and that means that the, the frequency goes up it's almost uh, not audible any longer. This is the frequency and the waveform. And this is the frequency. It's 21 uh, kilohertz now. So this circuit is very usable to drive, for instance, um, transistors or Darlingtons.
and um, it's also very easy to make of course a change in the voltage the supply voltage also changes the frequency This is the 100 nanofarad capacitor, two ones, and this is the 10 nanofarad capacitor. And I could uh, change them out with a small wire. So I wish you luck with the circuit. Perhaps you can adapt it to your special needs.